all right everybody we're back with another video i am down in virginia visiting my friend josh longtime friend and we're going to go over uh some of the things that we've added to our broncos he obviously has the full size and we have the sport but uh josh let me uh, show you what we did to our our bronco we added some um aftermarket stuff that's uh kind of fun because this is my wife's vehicle so we added the grill covers here uh, gives a little bit of red to the dashboard and then we have um little uh uh like um yeah the carbon fiber centerpiece and then we have a nice soft touch um for the uh elbow rests and then um in the cup holders we have some um cute little uh rubber um yeah it keeps the uh keeps the drink from moving around and it's red matches the car so that's kind of cool so uh that's what we did to our vehicle. Now let's look what you did to your vehicle because that's a whole different subject. <laughs> so this is my 2021 Bronco Outer Banks Edition, Bron uh, full-size Bronco. I didn't go with the Sasquatch Edition because this is my daily driver. So I'm trying to go for a mix of things that would be great when we do excursions, camping, go places, as well as be my daily driver. So to begin, um, the Bronco first started with a roof rack. I did remove the roof rack because it was a pain you really can't get that middle section off when you want to take the roof off and during the summertime we definitely were taking the roof off and enjoying the fact that you could you know go topless that's right uh the first start this is the ford aero skin uh trail guard i wanted to put this on there because again reading a lot of the forums a lot of discussions a lot of people were getting rock strikes on their windshield i was just trying to minimize that i can tell you that driving down north carolina a couple times definitely saw a decrease in the amount of bugs that were splatting on the windshield so this was definitely a good investment super easy to put on it's a it's a 3m tape you just take it off clean up and stick it on there and it's on now that's interesting you bring that up because for our vehicle um they said because of the angle of the windshield uh you can get heavy uh rock strikes yes yes so that's one they want to sell us uh extra insurance yeah for that. that's one thing i did want to did want to do like again seeing people that took a lot of rock, rock strikes to their vehicles early on i'm trying to protect the windshield as much as i could uh, one of the other things I did in the front here was actually put these uh, gas piston uh, hood assist on. So the stock Broncos come with a normal hood that you have to use the T-bar to put up and you know you got to lift it up. Yeah, this that's was, the way ours is too. Yeah, this is a cool modification. This came from uh, Masterbuilt, uh, or excuse me, um, um, don't draw the mic on them. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh, the, the Rough Country, sorry. Rough Came Country, from yeah. Rough Country. Rough Country actually brought... They, they, they're in. doing a lot of nice stuff. Yeah, and I have a lot of stuff from Rough Country on our Bronco. Um, the only thing about installation of these... Of course, someone's going to drive them. Yeah, motorcycles yeah. galore down here. Uh, is putting these, uh, these nuts inside of the hood. They're a little tough to get in there. They come with a little handle on them, but they're still hard to place and get those uh, entered in. But again, it was a great mod, and it was something that was easy and easy to get to... Uh, the, the vehicle inside. When now did you do out. anything else to your engine? Not done anything yet to the engine yet. I've still kind of waited on that. I'm still reading some reviews and kind of waiting before I do anything to the inside of the engine. But All right, so which fun. engine is this? This is the 2.7 liter uh, turbo. So this is the larger version that they that they uh, they offer. Uh, it is an automatic. I didn't get the manual, so I, I just didn't want to be riding a clutch in DC traffic. So No, I don't blame <laughs> you. So we're still going with the front. I've done a couple different modifications. In the Commonwealth of Virginia, you have to have a front license plate. So I actually uh, went to Biltright and got this license plate holder for the front. Um, it's a great add-on. The only indictment on this add-on is that because of the, the bracket doesn't hang all the way over to the edges of the license plate, people tend to walk and catch their pants on this. They've actually broke my uh, frame here. So th again, it's a great add-on, but it's just one of those things. Just be careful when you're, when you're watching. Keep an eye on your license plate because people do tend to catch it on their pants. Next thing I did to the front was actually replace the, the tow hitches. So the Outer Banks, because it has the, 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 the plastic molded bumper, the tow hitches are actually turned, so you can't actually put these shackles on there. So I went back to um, to, uh, uh, to Rough Country and got the tow shackles to put on there. And these came off of Amazon. I think they're, uh, what's the company? Uh, Autobots, they're just their three quarter inch clamps. You'll see that like they're white because I kind of went with the white theme as I did the rest of the Bronco because I do like the blue and white. So she says it matches the, the uh, the front uh, the front badging and everything like that. So um, before we move too far over here, I did replace the antenna. Um, this is just a little $10 job off of Amazon. I couldn't even find the name of the company. 
the full size, the antenna comes with a full size kind of whip antenna that stays up. I didn't like it. I wanted something a little smaller, a little low key. So now is that only AM FM? I think it's only AM FM because again, a lot of times the satellite is coming from the front there and is added to the intelligence package, I think. Don't quote me on that in the front of the vehicle. So, so and AM because, FM really doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. And the other thing is this also has the ability to uh, be a hotspot. So again, you're pulling a lot of stuff on the satellite radio from the internet. So using using more than just the AM FM bands. So we've added these. These came from Bronco Depot. This is their script Bronco. This is like one of the other first things I did. I actually removed the the uh, the factory badging and put these script badges on. They came pre uh, pre taped. They were pretty easy to put on. They even give you a uh, a bracket or like a paper uh, cutout to make sure you can put them in the right place and they're centered and everything. I actually ordered another set of these OEM factory uh, Outer Banks logos, even though I removed them with a little heat gun and a, and, a, and a piece of fishing line. I actually tore one of them, so I had to buy new ones. So uh, just be careful because they are a little expensive and you have to buy new ones, but I think they look really good underneath the badging, the script badging that we have here. So moving on to the vehicle, inside the vehicle itself, a lot of this stuff is kind of just um, vanity stuff. Thing, yeah. Things that make it kind of fun. Um, I did order the original, the the factory door sills. Um, I think in the future, if I would have known what I know now, I might not have put these on there. When these get clean, they become very slick. And if someone steps on them, it's pretty easy to slip. So I think I would try to go with something more of like a, a mat. And I might still do that in the future, just because again, when you pull the doors off and things like that, you know, when you step out, you don't want something slipping. Uh, I did the sticker applications. Um, from I think it's uh, three stage um, again we'll link everything that I've added to the vehicle in the bottom of the comments but it actually this kit came with the Bronco logos inside the one for the dashboard here and we'll see that there's one in the on the shifter there's the small horse logo the Bronco logo and it's a small sticker that actually uh, ended up in there. How long did it take you to put that on? Not long actually and they actually come with multiple sets if you want to stay there I'm gonna walk around so okay. talk about the other stuff. They actually send multiple sets because uh, they know that as you're peeling them off of the, the sticker and the laminate, if you tear one, you can put a new one in. Um, things like when we did like the C, I definitely had to use the second one because again, it's a very, very thin piece right there. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it was not too bad. Again, using a, a pair of tweezers to pull them off and then just getting them centered when you want to get them set. So then you have it in the uh, center uh, <laughs> yeah. on yep. the shifter too. Yep. The little Bronco logo, this was really cool. Again, they send, I think, two or three of them in each one. So if you mess up one, it's not the end of the world. You can get it in there. But I think it, it offsets the colors that match with the handles here, as well as the threading in the seat. So That looks really good. Um, let's see. What else did I change? Okay, I think the next thing we could talk about are, are these uh, paracord handles. So one of the things I noticed, my wife is kind of short. She had a hard time getting up in the vehicle, even though it's not the Sasquatch. And even grabbing the side handle wasn't enough, so I ended up going with these paracord handles. Uh, I think I got them off of Etsy. I have to remember who the vendor was, but they're great little handles, and they're very easy to install. Um, you just pull the bolts, put them back on, and they're, and they're ready to go. So from a functional standpoint, I added a couple things that I use almost on a daily basis. So the first one is the rail for the bring your own device. Um, this is uh, Sinister Customs actually made this rail. It's a it's a 3D printed like pic a Picatinny rail that goes on there. It's a one bolt drop in the center. Um, and I use both of these for my cell phone. So I, like a lot of people, I have a personal cell phone and a work cell phone. Um, I went with a couple of just basic camera mounts off of Amazon with the, with these with these balls here. They're the perfect length and they tighten down. And of course, much like the theme, keeping it blue. Yep. Um, again, the MagSafe, so that way when I have my cell phone and I'm driving, I can actually keep it here and you know keep it keep it so I can have a heads up display kind of. And then this one's for my work phone, which a lot of times in the mornings, if I'm running late or I gotta catch a meeting before I get to work, I can put my other cell phone on here. This iBolt one came off of Amazon. It is a great bracket. It doesn't go anywhere. The only thing I would say that if you do get these, make sure you lock tight the bolts down when it comes to the things that go onto the brackets themselves. Sinister Customs, when they sell these, they sell the bracket as well as these two uh, clamps that go here and they're awesome. It's just the only thing is make sure you try to tighten down or, or lock tight these bolts at the top so they don't turn on you when you going over a bump or going over a turn. Uh, the next thing I added was this kind of, I call it like a saddlebag almost. It's, it's a one piece system that goes around the top of the console here that gives you two little storage compartments here. They're just great because a lot of times when you have your phone down here charging, cup holder, you got something in the cup holder, you don't really have a whole lot of other places to kind of stash things. And I, that's why I kind of like putting this little saddlebag on there. It comes with the tape already on it. So you just clean, pull the, pull the tape, 
set it on there and it's pretty secure. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, it can hold a pretty good amount of weight. And then you have your cleaner for your screen. Cleaner for my screen, my sunglasses. You know, again, I keep that at ready just in case something is dirty. Always keep a pair of sunglasses for my son in case he needs a pair. So just little things like that stashed in there. Uh-huh. The next thing I added was this cover for the center console. Yeah, just like we did, right? Yep, this is a neoprene cover. It's by a company called Covers, like K-O-V-E-R-Z, if I remember correctly. They may be an Etsy store. I have to go back and look. But I also added inside this little uh, storage organizer from Amazon. This is great because the Bronco has plenty of storage in here, and we know there's a lot of options like the safe and different things that Ford offers. But I didn't really need a safe, but I needed something with a little bit more uh, organization because I like to keep things organized. So... I put this in there, it's great. It's a two-piece system. You still get access all the way down to the bottom of your your uh, your center console here. And you also has a cutout there so you can still use your port if you need to. Is there just one in there or just the just the one port, yeah. Uh, well I think there may be a USB, I gotta remember. No, nope, just the one port and then no, there might be a USB. I mean coming out of here, this is just one yeah, port. Yeah, just that one port there. Oh no, no, no that's not one. USB, that's um, No, that's a uh, yeah the, uh, uh that's it's like also, a cigarette lighter. Yeah, but it's it's it yeah, but it's still the port though. You can add in yeah, like yeah, a yeah. USB attachment. Right, right. So and again, you can run a cord out if you need to, if you ever need extra cordage or something like that. And right. this little covers thing actually has a great little piece too that you can run the cord through. Um, and then that way when it closes up, you don't even have to use you can actually run it through the top there. That's pretty cool. Um, I did add the Ford factory Bronco mats. Um, these are great, of course they're made to order, custom fit. They they lock it, they lock in. I think they're great. They protect the carpet underneath. So, um, again, having a child protecting the vehicle a little bit was always a part of the uh, the plan. The part of the plan. <laughs> um, and then this is my own personal mod. Uh, for those of you that have the molded in color hardtop with the sound deadening headliner, this stuff is great because it velcros right on. So again, I like to. I was really a, a, a patch collector, but I have it some. I started putting them in here. Now I keep my eye out for a patch whenever I can find one, I, and I've been adding to this. Uh, Right, so you were ex-military, uh, you well, were Marine Corps. Retired Marine. You're retired Marine Corps. <laughs> Not ex-military. <laughs> <laughs> retired Marine, so yeah. he's got a lot of his stuff up there, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, a lot of stuff, yep. So again, I just kind of keep my eyes out for any kind of patches I ever find and just update them. And what is this thing here? So that is my co-pilot. Everybody has to have a co-pilot. I have Chewbacca, so. <laughs> right, Chewbacca. That's right, Chewbacca up. always always rides until I take the top off and he has to come down to the dashboard. Then he, then he has to move? He has to move. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, Hold on. Gotta get over there. Move it to the back. So a couple things I did. Uh, I custom did my emblem here with um, uh, Placid Dip. This is the first time I had ever Placid Dip anything, so it came out pretty good. I might have to redo it, but again, it was a pretty easy process watching on YouTube. Again, one of the white horse to match the rest of the white badging on the vehicle. Um, the one badge I did remove from the side of the vehicle, I did save it and I put it back here so I can kind of have some branding on the back of the uh, the outer banks. So I think that, that was pretty cool. Moving to the back. One of the first things I did, and I think is probably one of the best add-ons I made, was this, master, or this uh, Rough Country table. I love it. It was super easy to put on. Um, it gives you a lot of flexibility when you're when you're doing things in the back of the vehicle. I even use it in the driveway sometimes if I'm sitting there and I'm grilling and I just kind of open this up and have a little extra storage or maybe just place to put a beer, you know. But again, it's a great little table. It's a great little add-on. It doesn't take up any additional space, so. Um, and how hard was it to put on? It was not hard at all. The, the hardest part I had with it was getting the right bit just to drill through here. It is a little nerve wracking when you got to drill through your tailgate, but you get the right bit, it pops right through and it was super easy to put on. It and then a, you just siliconed around there to protect from rust. Uh, it or? actually comes with all the pieces that go around it. So again, there's little grommets and stuff that go that add on. So yeah, they, they think of all that stuff. And then of course you have the bar down here that is already ready for us to, to, to bring your own stuff for the tailgate. Right, right, right. So in the back, I've done a couple things again, just to protect and also for functionality. I've added, of course, the WeatherTech mat for the back. Um, again, just to protect it, and that way when I'm putting things in here, I don't have to worry about staining my carpets. Now uh, this is carpet under here? This is carpet under here, so. Oh yeah, carpet, the fine carpet, And you've got yeah. your tie downs, which again, you can cut the, these to, 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 uh, to bring these tie downs out. These tie downs are super important when you are putting in your door bags and your roof bags, because they tie down here and they actually anchor to here. So when they line up, these small little eye hooks underneath here, when they line up, they go here. So um, if I ever put the door bags in or, or I pull the roof off and put them in the bags, I'll roll this up and just kind of keep it out of the way so I can actually anchor them down so they don't go anywhere. Uh, these hooks came from Center Custom. These are great little hooks. I think these are um, 
they they cut these I, I don't know if they 3d print these like i think they 3d print these but they're carbon fiber they're super strong they're great because the one thing the bronco doesn't have in the front is any kind of hook to put a jacket or to just hook things on so again they come in a pair the one on that side and one over there super easy to put on you just pull the bolts from the speakers here and throw them back through and put them on and they are they are anchored down and they are good and then the last thing i think i've added to the vehicle itself is this great um carpet padding here this came from amazon if you look online they make custom ones for the different seat backs and things like that this is a four-piece system you've got one two three four um this is a little tricky to put this on because these uh hinge pieces that are on the back kind of come off if you pull them and stuff like that but the idea is when you drop your seats you're basically protecting all the way through so if you slide anything up here as you see i've slid i think i slid a set of cornhole boards in here and they got and they got a little scuffed up but i mean that's, that's the idea exactly to keep your seats from getting messed up and they've got a great little hole there if you see because i still have a, a child seat in here and you can still anchor down the child seat without having to fish through or find the anchor itself and how much was uh how much was that it wasn't uh, too expensive was it no i think it was like 59.95 or something like that it wasn't it wasn't super expensive and it's a great little price they come with the velcro already mounted and because you have the same kind of material that you have on the sound editing headliner they velcro right in so just the biggest part of it is just getting them lined up and set but once you do i mean it's great again you don't have to worry about ever tearing anything up or you know if i decide to go get some lumber or something like that now that i don't have a pickup truck it does a pretty good job yeah so, and i think that's all the mods i've done so oh i got one other small little uh modification i did that's kind of a vanity thing and i'll if clay you come around here I'll yeah show you. i've actually changed out my foul stem covers because why not the little broncos <laughs> little broncos and my wife found those for me for christmas i thought they were a pretty cool little addition to add on now so. did you do anything to the suspension or nothing anything? the suspension nothing yet so again i just kind of kept most of the engine and, and the and the suspension tires all that stuff stock i may do something eventually but right now again it's my daily driver i kind of like the way it drives right now i mean you put that thing in sport mode and hit the gas it goes so again now did you, have you had any problems where you've had to take it back to the factory i mean back to the dealership or anything i've had i've been blessed in this one recall and it was for the child safety lock and even when i went they said hey yours were good you didn't need to replace so it was a pretty quick in and out so yeah i've been pretty pretty good on the uh, on the recalls or any problems with the vehicle now you Not had a really. long wait for this vehicle i did i did i was a day one order so when the order when the order or the day one reservation went and did my order in january truck was built in may then got caught up in the hard top issue because again they were having all the issues how to replace all these hard tops so uh may turned to june june turned to july <laughs> july ended up going all the way into november so again i haven't even had this vehicle a year yet so again i finally got it in november and i'll tell you what i'm very happy with it um now, just, you you also had an original bronco i did have an, I had an 86 and that's part of the reason i did the blue and white my 86 bronco was uh was an eddie bauer edition it was blue and white it was used i was a little older i think i got it in 98. Uh, i loved it. it had the v8 in it just wasn't tenable for uh, a young a young a young enlisted service member to have a v8 engine driving all over god's new creation so <laughs> yeah we so. had we had a really long wait for our vehicle too almost a year yeah yeah and uh i'm glad to see that they're coming out now it's, it's nice and as you can see we went with the velocity blue honestly blue's my favorite color but my son actually picked the color out so when we were doing the ordering we we're doing the building he and i sat down and i said hey what color do you want and he's a blue guy so uh, that's why we want the Velocity Blue. I'll tell you, I get a lot of compliments on the color. I really do. I've seen a couple other ones out in the wild, but I'm very happy with the color by and large. So. Yeah, you uh, you don't see too many of these. And uh, on my wife's vehicle, you don't see too many of this uh, hot chili pepper red color yeah. either. But, so, uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's it's really nice. Uh, the color is uh, amazing. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and some of the little add-ons I've done. I think there's going to be more and so maybe some. Now, now what videos. are you planning? Are you planning? You're not going to do any suspension? Oh, no, or? I think the next thing I'm going to plan is that um, Badass Temp Company makes a makes a rack just for the back of the hardtop. So that way you can still remove all three panels to actually have the passengers open. So that's one of the things I'm planning on is the rack here. The other thing is there's, uh, I think Badass Temp Company is the same one that makes it. They make a really cool rack that goes around your spare tire. It's not super weight bearing, but it's enough to be able to throw a cooler up there or just throw some things on. It basically anchors around the tire and puts your rack right here on the back. So that way you don't have to do something with the with the tow hitch or the tow package. Um, the next other thing I think I would really like to do is some lighting. That's the one other thing I don't like about the vehicle is that at nighttime, the lighting, because of the hard top, there's not a whole lot of light inside. I'd like to try to figure out a solution for doing some of the lighting inside. So. Um, just to give yourself some more light when it's nighttime, you're trying to find things. Right, because you know. the only thing you really have is this. 
Yep, you have that, that. And you have a couple of lights at the front, but other but than But they're that, not making it back here. No, and again, it's just one of those things that like, I'd like to try to get some more light into the middle of the vehicle and in the back of the vehicle. Um, and I've seen some cool solutions, especially ones that use this 12 volt back here. Um, you can plug in and then use it and run some stuff, but uh, I'm still kind of doing some research before I pull the trigger. Oh, and the last thing I, I, I did purchase because of the slant of the windshield, which we talked about earlier, I did order a custom uh, windshield protector or like a, a um, dash protector just to keep the vehicle cool and again something that uh that fits the windshield i don't have to worry about it falling down or trying to wedge it in there and things like that well thank you very much for this great review of this vehicle i love all the extras you put in it uh, makes it really really custom well i think that's what everybody wanted they wanted something they could get that's cool out of the box but you can customize and make it your own and as you can see i've done a lot of stickers and stuff i mean again it's what makes this vehicle fun yeah and now you plan on going off-road or doing anything i will i do plan on going off-road i just haven't gotten the <laughs> there's that fear that you might the, scratch the, yeah the right? hood's up to get. although i will tell you that i did pick up a set a of um stock fenders at a matte color somebody was selling them online here in virginia i grabbed them because i think if i ever do go off-road i'm going to take the painted fenders off put the matte ones on that way if i if I scratch a fender, I'm not too Now, now what, uh, remember uh, some people <clears throat> online were saying that um, because there's no fender, I uh, oh. mean, no... Uh, yeah, that's the other thing too. Yeah, that's a good point. I am trying to find the the flaps for protection because you can see I actually have a little scratch here, right, actually right here and right here. And that is completely from wintertime kicking stones up and I heard it. It like came up and it, and it hits here because again, you don't have... You don't have any ability to stop that. And I know there's some videos out there that talk about those. That, that is one thing they saw when they were off-roading and things that people were driving without any kind of protection there tend to get a lot of scratches and stuff up through the doors and everything because of it, it, it is a, uh, amusing that for the full size you don't get that but if you look at the sport yep they come standard they, they come standard yeah front and back right so yeah. it is kind of weird that they saw it on this vehicle but well, I also think that they saw there was a market that people would want their own custom things. So. so you are looking in, in the Yeah, I am looking into those again, uh, trying to find the best ones that will fit and they look good and stuff like that. Because again, you know, I just don't want to slap anything on. Yeah, you. you don't. You don't want just normal stuff <laughs> exactly. that doesn't look good. Exactly. Especially after spending so much time putting this together, right? That's right. All right. Well, All right. thank you very much. Thanks, and, everybody. Uh, internets. We'll see you later.